we have an issue. Okay. Uh, the issue is Laura. I would like you to give her a gentle reminder of the hierarchy of the boat, or we can fire her, or I'll quit. There are three options. Kate has never, ever even hinted at an ultimatum with me because she knows, as I think most people that have dealt with me over a period of time, I don't do ultimatums. And usually what happens normally in a circumstance like that, both of them end up going. This is the first time I've given Captain Lee an ultimatum, but it was like I was taking two people that had frustrated me and put them against each other. Like Captain Lee wanted to question my judgment about Caroline. Well, guess what? I've worked so many seasons with crazy, crazy crew members and I've pulled their weight. And if he doesn't know that, then he can, maybe Laura should be the chief too. I would love to go on vacation with Morea. I've got nothing to prove here. Laura was not stupid. She knew exactly what she was doing. And she was poking the bear. What she didn't realize is Kate is one of those big grizzly bears up in Alaska. And when it wakes up, it's gonna be pissed. And <laughs> you're not gonna be ready for what's coming. You rub its belly, scratch its ears, do whatever it is you have to do to get it to go back to sleep. Because we got work to do. But then you did have that talk with uh, Laura. Yeah, I mean, during the meeting, her whole demeanor changed from offense to sh I am so busted. I'm close to getting fired. And I just barely started. I noticed a swift yes. change. Very Actually, quick change. And you know what? I love Laura now. Yeah. I, I knew I would like her. It's like, it's like I wanted to tell her, but there's no way I could say this to her that she would have received it well. Like, it's you don't have to try hard. I'm not, we're not enemies. Like, I think you're cool. I just need you yeah. to like, do the work and that's it. She needed to be knocked down a couple yeah. pegs. But I think it, it's difficult for a female to do it to a female without them being like, cat fight. Yeah. You don't want to be on the wrong side of Kate. Everybody keeps saying that. I'm actually so nice, but I'm also very- But not on your wrong side. I just like things to be fair. So if you do something wrong to me, I'm like, that's gonna cost you. This night out with, with uh, Laura was, was definitely a challenge. I respect what was going on with Laura, but at the same time, like I'm, I'm dedicating my time to you tonight, like show appreciation for that and just give me something to work with. And I, I just feel like I didn't get it from her side. And uh, that was it. I think I just kind of, you know, went on my own mission from there <laughs> and got myself into a bit of trouble. <laughs> as soon as we got to the club, you were dancing with other girls all night. And that's fine, babe. But like, I'm not gonna be a tally on your checklist. She had a full on go at me, like screaming and shouting. And while she's screaming and shouting at me, she's telling me she's not cross. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, what? <laughs> What's upset you? Nothing's upset me, but I don't, like. Nothing's upset me. You were telling him you weren't mad. I know. What was that about? So I wasn't trying to be like, oh, I'm not mad, I don't care, but I was like, that's fine. I don't care if that's what you want to do. I don't care. But don't lead me on to think that's not what you want to do and then be a completely different person. Do you know what I mean? Like, just be straight up. Just be real. Don't hold my hand walking into the club and then start to grind every other girl as soon as we get in there. It's just rude and gross. Super gross. Gross. <laughs> Just let me do it. I got it. Just let me know when you need help. Like, I will. You're trying to I do too much on your own. How? You just are. I can see it. Got it. Riley, got there's it. things why I do it got like it. this, OK? Got it. Are you sure? Got it. I got it. I'll say it one more time before the fifth time, and I'll say it even more rude than the fourth see, time I just said it. I said I got it five fucking times. I gave Riley the time of fucking day. I was so weak on it, and he fucking pulled me up for it. He was like, you're soft on it. We Ross, Ross created a monster. Because and Ross gave her so much leeway and tiptoed around Riley. And I said to and him, I said, I, said, I said, bro. I was only looking for the good. And I saw the good in Riley. I saw she was a hard fucking we, we all saw the good in Riley. But what happened is you gave her too much, too yeah. much slack. And you created this monster out of her. 
and it, it bit you in the ass at the end. So how did uh, I never created the monster, mate? You, you didn't create, okay, look, like. the, the monster was there, but what I'm saying is you gave her a lot of space to, to kind of grow as that monster and it bit you in the ass. I'm also a boat captain, okay? Give me one second to f***ing respond to you. Fix that attitude? Yes, sir. God, if I hear one more time, I'm a captain, I think I'm going to throw up. You may be a captain, but not on this boat. You're a third deckhand, which is as low as it gets in hierarchy. Don't sit there and say, I want this job, and then cry because you got it. Rank is there to set a tone, and, and I understand that. But within that hierarchy, you still have to be respectful. I'm not just going to fly off the handle for no reason. You know, it was warranted because of how I felt I was treated. She's just such a strong personality, and, and she just, the There's attitude- There's no reasoning with her. The, the attitude is just way too great for her position on the boat. There's people that are saying, like, like um, oh, she should speak her mind. She's a strong-minded woman. No, at the end of the day, sorry. You join this boat as a junior decker, not as a captain. Regardless of where you come from, regardless of the fact that you're female, whether you're male or female, this is the way things happen on a boat. Yeah. And this is what frustrates us with these It does not that matter are if you're in. a f***ing female. And it doesn't matter if you're a captain on a fishing boat either. You hired as a junior deckhand. I would not speak to Captain Lee the way Riley speaks to the crew members. She needs to know her role. If she would have carried her work ethic over into how she treated people and how she got along with people or tried to get along with people. She'd have found things a lot easier, I'm sure. Hey, this is Ashton and Ross from Below Deck. Click here to subscribe and click over here for more videos.